Welcome back to my channel where today EXA reached out to me to give their H1 Trucker environmental noise canceling wireless headset a review. And this is geared and marketed towards truckers, meaning that environmental noise canceling microphones on this should be really strong and they have a really long range that you can travel away from your device. 30 meters or 99 feet, which, you know, if you're thinking about wireless earbuds, that's about double the range. And if that's the case, they're also going to be an excellent user-friendly uh, device for taking phone calls on Zoom and being able to roam around your house without having to stay right in front of your laptop. And that's one of the things I'm going to check out. So in this video, I'm going to give a quick unboxing and I'm also going to do my normal outdoor phone call quality test. And I will also connect it to my laptop and check out how well these work for Zoom calls. And I will absolutely check out that range and see if it actually is as great as they say. Let's get started with the EXA ones. All right, unboxing this. This is a very simple unbox. There's not a lot of stuff in here. So we've got a pouch. EXA, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. EXA Telecom. This is uh, that kind of rubbery material that feels like it stretches a little bit and it feels like it would be a little bit water repellent. I've got no plastic packaging in here. I have no idea. Okay, there's the, uh, the headset itself. We've got a swivel on the pad. We've got an adjustable headband. We've got some rubberized material here, which feels like it'd at least be more comfortable than not having that rubberized padding. I've got multiple bud buttons here. I can wear this left or right-handed. The earbuds do swivel so that you get some, you know, decent comfort and you can adjust where you want that band to sit on your head. We've got your dedicated mute button, got a dedicated volume down, volume up, and a multifunction button. All right, I'm just gonna fire these up and see how well they fit. Okay, remember when you're wearing this kind of a headset, you don't need it to wrap all the way around your head and compress your head. You just kind of want to rest it up here on your head where it's comfortable, but not pressing in on your head. Now the rest of what's in the box, I've got a USB-C charging cable. It's kind of got some orange in there. So that'll help us identify that it is going along with this EXA packaging, which is also all orange. Let's see what else they say on the box, actually, in terms of features. Environmental noise canceling, wireless technology, 30 hours of play time, 270 degree rotatable mic. Like we said, we could wear it left or right side of our head. Hands-free calling and, oh, okay. The H1 transparent communication system uses ENC technology, noise canceling telecom, marketing, 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 the joy of communication. Okay, battery drive, 40 millimeter drivers, Bluetooth 5, effective range 30 meters, sensitivity is huge, 114 dB at plus or minus three decibels, with its frequency response on the speaker of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Headset, carrying pouch, type C charging cable, and a manual. Pretty simple packaging. All right, on to that manual. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna notice right away here, the writing in that manual <laughs> is huge. So you are looking at something for truckers. Maybe they're asking them to read it while they're like driving or something, but this is the biggest writing I've ever seen in a manual. At least the pictures are huge. So Bluetooth, music time, about the drivers. We've already read this all on the back of the box. And it is an omnidirectional microphone with environmental noise canceling. Product overview, we've got the ANC, uh, sorry, the AI ENC microphones. You've got your type C charging port, which is down at the base here. You've got your volume up, Bluetooth indicator, multifunction button, okay. Everything that we just talked about. So here's the operations guide. And I think this is actually really, really well done because this is telling me plain and simple, like, Press and hold a multifunction button for three seconds to turn on and off. And these are huge graphics. I actually kind of appreciate that. I wear contact lenses to see or glasses to see. And if you're in that kind of phase of your life or just a person who needs glasses, you're gonna appreciate this manual. Previous next track, which is using the volume button as well. So long press the volume buttons to do skip tracks. You got your dedicated mute, mute button. 
And here's some interesting capabilities, call handling. So they are for truckers. They are for making phone calls with your phone. So this is really interesting. Single click to answer, long press to reject, double click to redial. You wanna answer a new call and hang up the current call. You click once. If you wanna add a new call, you double click. And then you can get into three-way calling mode with Tom and Amy. And during that call, if you double click, you can switch between the calls. So there's a few functions here that you're gonna to have to get to know in order to be effective with using the device. Bluetooth pairing is pretty straightforward and it does explain pretty careful how to do dual pairing. So you can connect this with your phone and with your laptop, for example. I like that feature. I like that feature a lot. And it's pretty simple. You just turn off the Bluetooth on device A and then you reconnect it to another device and then you turn the device A Bluetooth back on and you're connected to both devices. I'm gonna connect my device, my Bluetooth device, and then we're gonna go take a phone call with this. Bluetooth pairing, pair new device. Oh man, it's right there and ready. Exa one pair. That was a super fast connection. Actually, that was really fast. That was really impressive. Okay, we're gonna go from there. Out to the streets. Hey everybody, welcome to the outdoor phone call test of the Exa H1. Hey, on my way out here to make this phone call, I and mean, I just unboxed them and I just turned this thing on, connected it to my device. It was a snap. I actually turned on some music on Spotify and I was actually, I was blown away at how good these sound. So this is like a real headphone. Only one is connected. You know, it's kind of mono rather than having two. This is like a real headphone. There's a quality speaker in here that's delivering excellent bass, excellent bass and good clarity on the, on, on the vocals and the, and the highs. So, so far, like, Two for two out of the two features that I really checked so far with the Exa, I'm pretty impressed. And that is how fast it connected to the Bluetooth on my device. And secondly, uh, how good it sounds, which was an unexpected surprise. So this car is very loud. There's definitely speeding. Uh, and I could hear it coming from a mile away. It's pretty windy. There's definitely a wind blowing from my back coming out towards me. And I will see that that will make it a little bit of tough conditions for the microphones here. Uh, but mostly what we're looking at is to see how well it does with canceling out the cars that are going by in the background. So, so far, so good. We're going to go back into studio. We're going to check out the dual device connectivity between the phone and the laptop, and we'll check out that range that you get on this headset, which at 30 meters would be incredible for the kinds of things that I want to do. Oh, man, there's a huge gust of wind right there. So how does that sound? It's still kind of blowing, but the gust came, and I can kind of hear it echoing and over here a little bit like the microphone might be picking it up. But we'll see that time will tell when we get to the recording and then we listen to it. So far, uh, so good on the product. Couple more tests to go. I'm letting all these cars go by so we can really test out the microphones and see how well they perform. And I'm excited to get to the rest of the test on the Exa H1. Let's go back to the studio and check out the rest. Okay, I'm a little bit like a kid in a candy store here because this Exa H1 headset is really good so far. I checked out the microphones on a phone call outside and I thought that they sounded good. I have only listened to it on my phone, so I haven't really put it into the studio yet to do the post-processing and see how good it really sounds, but initial impressions were that it was good. The distance, I checked that out. I was able to cover my entire house without any clip outs. Now, that is really impressive and exciting for me. I'm definitely feeling, like I said, like a kid in a candy store. I'm now simultaneously recording this video while on the Exa H1s. And I'm recording this over a Zoom call. I'm not doing the video on the Zoom call. I'm just doing the audio. I need to test out the mute button uh, and see how that works. I'm going to press it now. But it is a, an English spoken notification that the microphone is off. I've just pressed it again, and it's another English prompt saying that the microphone is on. This mute button works. The connection to my laptop works. So this is actually one of the best headsets that I have used to connect to my laptop. I am simultaneously also connected to my phone. I can see the Exa H1 is active right here on my phone. Uh, fantastic so far. 
I'm not even sure how much more I need to do in this review. The Exa H1 is so far, so far, just a really solid product with minimal packaging. The price is right on Amazon. And for what it's worth, I think, uh, oh, I've actually checked out some of the other call capabilities. So in the user manual, when we talked about these nice large pictures, dual pairing, we've checked out. Obviously, everything is connected via Bluetooth. There's no dongles or anything like super easy. And via Bluetooth, the mute button works, which means they really designed this well to be used uh, as part of your laptop or as part of your phone with an integrated mute button that absolutely works. It must work at the device level and not trying to do it like at the computer level, which is kind of cool. At, when I say the device level, I mean the headset level. I have also used the redial function and I've tried the switch between calls function. So I mean, you've got to get the handle on, you know, the different clicks that you need to do in order to do those different things. But I think once you do, it seems like a really well thought out product from a brand that I've just started working with. I appreciate them sending this over. They actually wanted me to check out some wireless gaming mouse. Um, but I thought for my channel, this would be a more appropriate product. And I am really glad that I checked it out. I'm hoping that if you think it's a great product, you let me know in the comments what you think, or if you've had some experience with it, what you think. And I look forward to hearing more from people who might pick this up and give it a shot themselves for use in their office or in their travels as a, as a trucker. All right. Thanks for watching my review of the Exa H1.